We're back, and so is Walking Dead. And uh, looks like Logan's on his way as well. And a uh, new show that Joey hasn't seen yet called Humans, right here on Know Your Own. Hey, we are back, like I said. It's been a while, but uh, Joey and Mike and myself, as usual, are here to uh, talk about some nerd stuff. So since Walking Dead's decided to return for the second half of the seventh season, perfect timing for us to get back. Yes. So Sorry, we've been super busy. <laughs> <laughs> we have been really busy. I, I haven't been as busy lately, but perfect timing. Anyway, yes. <laughs> so with this first episode uh, for season seven, part two, uh, how did you feel about it? We had a lot of crazy stuff going on, but... Well, I like the way they started. Well, I didn't like the way they started it, but I also like the way they started right. it. With, the, with going to Father Gabriel and having... We started off with him stealing all the supplies, mm -hmm. stealing all the supplies. From we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know, we know if it's a quote thing. But we do know. But, um. but we do know. <laughs> I, they, they've left us clues. Yeah, um, well, eventually they're like, oh, he left a yeah. sign and said, what, yeah, boat? Yeah, boat. And yeah. Like, how did he know? But they didn't. Make but because it, it does seem like there was like as when he was driving off, there was. Of course, we didn't see it the first time. Yeah, we had to go back because yeah, Mike's the only one who noticed it. But yeah, there was someone in the seat in the car with mm -hmm. him. So obviously they're making. Well, I guess they want you to think that they're making him do that. So or uh, who did we not see in this episode? I was trying to figure that out the whole episode. We didn't see the lady that keeps track of all the supplies. But I thought she died. I thought that's what happened. See, that's the problem with this show. You guys, <laughs> you there's so like, many people Wait. that I don't care about. Like, I don't even care oh, about Oh, that's them. right. Did, uh, did Negan kill her at the end I of... she got killed. Yeah, at the mid-season finale. I don't remember. But my thing is, it, you remember when they went to the boat the first time, mm -hmm. there was nobody there. Right. So, is it possible that it is the person... That the boat was a setup. Like, uh, and yeah, so yeah. he followed the stuff back. Yeah. You guys stole all my stuff, to... I'm going to steal all your stuff. And so he and stole it preacher. back. It's like a, a preacher. secret route. But then, I mean, <clears throat> the whole episode's not about that moment, except for the beginning and the end. The, ve the very end gives you very slight nod to what's coming up. Mm. And you see, who was it that smiled really big? Rick. It was Rick. Well, now he has, he needed manpower. He right. needed people, and he yeah. people willing to fight, and now he has it. Yeah. yeah. Now you just got to convince them that, hey, we've got to, uh... Yeah, we've got, got an army yeah. now. We can you can automatically it. tell that they're not threatening, even though they're all surrounding him. Like, if these are, like, bad guys, like some of Negan's guys... They like, were just they taking them already. Yeah, we yeah. would already be dead. So, like, Rick's like, okay, I got this. Yeah. Very end, which is cool. Um, I also, like, there was a scene, like, um, the scene where they <laughs> are talking to... King, mm. yeah, that was a King good scene. Yeah. yeah, that was good writing. Yeah. Like that was very suspenseful. Like the way they were talking, like figuring out, you know, we could do this. We can, you know. Well, and on that note, going back to when they first meet him, the way, the way they first brought him up was like, a, this is kind of ridiculous with Carol, and then we've kind of gotten used to it as an audience. So it's it wasn't weird when they say it anymore, but what's great is these new people being introduced, you do get reminded this is really ridiculous. Yeah. And uh, them having that moment, several moments actually, where the team is like, really? It's called a kingdom and yeah. he's calling himself a king? And then they go and meet him and then they're like, this really is a thing? And this dude has a freaking lion yeah, <laughs> or tiger? tiger? Yeah. And he was like, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, that was golden. Yeah. Girl, like standing in the back. <laughs> yeah. <and I'm> like, <laughs> we're not walking up there. Like, yeah. <laughs> Screw you, Tiger. But that was what was funny is you're getting similar reactions you forget about because yeah. these new characters they are yeah, reintroducing an older character to the audience. So. My, my issue with the kingdom, though, is like you get into some crappy writing when they start going there like yeah. I don't know the dialogue takes a turn yeah like, Jesus, it, was, it felt a little slow yeah Jesus had yeah. didn't have the best performance I felt like, like he had seen, to have he had to have like a Buddha moment yeah where he we've was seen like, him, always here we've yeah. seen more come from him yeah, yeah. At, from from the actor and it's felt I don't forced. think it was his fault though yeah I think it was yeah, the writing I think it was, just, probably was a little bit of the writing especially like that scene where they're talking to the bald guy um at what's that is it the hilltop the hilltop with a guy who like doesn't want them oh, right, they're, they're, yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're leader not bald He's bald. Bald. Definitely, definitely comes over. The older guy, the yeah. leader of the hilltop. But yeah, like that whole scene didn't like that. Didn't like any of the dialogue, really, especially coming from. Well, there was like the Jesus stuff that he said, and then um, 
What's her name? I know what he did. I know. You know why we don't remember their names? Is because they die. Like we don't. We're never sure if this character's sticking around or not. Right. So like you know, Rick, Michonne, Carl, Aaron. Yeah. Now we now remember Aaron. He's been I'd around. I still long haven't yet. He's Daryl. Still... Daryl. Carol Morgan. Carol Morgan. Those are yeah. classic characters. I was thinking like, about that yesterday. Like, when we were like watching it. The, How the. A lesbian girl, what like what? Yeah, don't know. Yeah. She was with the doctor. They were a couple. That's yeah, and, she and I don't was, remember the doctor. She but she started because she, well, yeah, well, she like, started with, with them that, with yeah. the governor with, when they had that final yeah, battle. Yeah. But uh, she's that's my thing is it's just like you. I was thinking about this yesterday when we were watching it. How um, you know, there's so many characters and it's hard to remember all their names. But then I start going through a list of everybody's names I do know. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, I do remember a ton of names, but then I was like, why don't I remember all of them? And it's really, it is, because you're like, well, they're not that significant yet. Or like, you don't identify even with their story. Right. Like, their personal story, you don't identify well, with them. Even if they're their main they're character, yeah. if they're not as involved as all the rest of the main characters, I really, I'm like, I got enough names to remember them, kind of. I'm good until yeah. you become important. I wish they would just focus on those, and they did a pretty good job focusing on the main. But why yeah. do we remember, like, names for characters from Game of Thrones that we I would- don't. As we've got proof, every time we would talk about it, I would get all the names wrong. Well, but uh, I remember the names from Walking Dead, from uh, Game of Thrones. I remember the side characters' names, the, the tertiary characters' yeah. names, well, way just, better than I remember. That's just because you're more, I can, just think can, the most, more interesting yeah, yeah, yeah. Game of Thrones. And, well, like, and the they are unique doing. names. Mm-hmm. So I think that would probably help you. It wouldn't help me. But I could see where that would be a benefit because they're unique. So it's not like Andrew and Steve. You've got unique names to remember, whereas when everybody does have just normal names, it's kind of like, wait, who's that one again? Because they're all so yeah. general. And it's just... And I'm bad with names to begin with. Well, so it's just, I, I know I've said this a lot about Walking Dead. I mean, I was super excited about this episode because I was like, if there's a chance you know, for it to bring back, it'll happen. And like, some stuff's finally starting to change. And then, I mean, it did okay. Like, the... But it didn't, like... Pull, like, it didn't yeah. suck me back in. I wasn't like, oh, that was awesome, and I was like just hanging on my edge. Well, there were a few like, moments no, we definitely no, were. Well, yeah. we got we got excited briefly about the uh, about the the clothesline the scene. That was really was awesome. awesome. It was yeah. cool, and that lasted for five seconds. Yeah, but and it then, was still like that was still. They really even cool. had the camera shot where the blood's yeah. just like but on looking the at camera. our reactions, looking at our reactions, oh and how yeah, we were yeah, watching yeah. that. We got excited for the, we're like, oh, that was really cool. And it was, that was unique. Fantastic. And then right back to being kind of bored. Yeah, just, we're just kind of well, and then they had that big explosion, which yeah. helped. Because yeah. it was like, oh, sweet. But, like, it would have been cool if someone had, like, blew themselves up on accident. Well, and then the, the one thing we talked about, too, was when uh, Rick realizes that the easiest way to defeat a zombie is just to push 20 of them out of your way, and you won't have a problem. Yeah. Why the heck do people fight zombies and get weapons <laughs> stuck when literally all you have to do when you're surrounded by zombies is just go like this, yeah. and you're fine? <laughs> and, and then Mike even zombies. brought up the point of, like, we hoped he got his hand bit. Yeah. Like, so we could finally cut off Rick's arm. And I think mm-hmm. with Carl having one eye mm-hmm. and Rick having one arm would be awesome. Because now these two characters... Would mirror the comic. Well, not just that, but it would also add a level of, of tension in the sense of like ability. Because Rick's always been so capable. Like He's always seemed to pull out in some great, yeah. mysterious way. And so if all of a sudden he's only got one arm... He does or not look, one arm, but like yeah. one hand. He's did it done in the comics for years. Right, but that's fine. what I'm saying. It's like this far in though, he's developed the that uh, more, so. The thing that I thought was really interesting was when they get to the kingdom and they have to give over their weapons. There's only two guns. They're carried by Rick and Carl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Carl's got the second gun, even though he can't see, he can't shoot. No, he can. He's a great shot. No, he was a great shot, and then he lost an eye. And they've gone through this entire season. They've shown like him trying to throw dartboards. And scattering everywhere, and him trying to shoot stuff and missing. So why does he have the gun? Which is, yeah, which so why does Carl carry the gun? Well, Rick trusts him implicitly, trusts him more than anyone else in the group, because Rick, Michonne, Carl—that is, that right. is the core that Rick cares about, and then everyone else is he'll save it to whoever else he can. I don't know. There's that sweet little bromance when he and Daryl split up. I'm pretty sure I thought they were gonna make out before <laughs> they shut the gates. Yeah. We did have that jokingly yeah. uh, Star Wars moment. I love you. I, love I know. You. <laughs> and then shut. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I guess that's, but that's a dumb, like, if Rick was smart, he would give a gun to somebody else who's a, a great shot. Yeah. Uh, like, I don't know why he would give it. 
I don't know. Again, I'm sick of Carl too. I just wish he would. <laughs> I like. Uh, I really am glad with Carl's story progression. I think we've seen some some recovery from uh, whiny Carl. Yeah, especially with him with Negan. I mean, he is. He's a teenager though. Like, let's let's give credit where credit. And all there. teenagers suck. Pretty much, yeah. Well, it's all we, his hormones. We were terrible teenagers. Yeah, I know exactly. I wouldn't want to hang out with me. Uh, well, then when you got a girl to impress, you really got to turn it up. Yeah. And he's been trying to impress the heck out of her. <laughs> Which, in, uh, who is, what's her name? Ingrid? No. Yeah. Not Ingrid. It's in, in, Enid. 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 Enid saves the day at the hilltop by recruiting fighters. And yeah. The kingdom, the kingdom turns away the group, but we have some defectors that want to go fight, and they're offering us on to Daryl, which they get back just in time before the saviors show up to, uh, yeah, yeah. to search. But. So that was good. I mean. And I like the idea they were talking about leaving the horde of zombies on the highway, like right, because they need that for later. Yeah, like obviously, like they've been we- weaponizing these walkers has been done on them so many times. Like, go ahead and like, yeah. let's why haven't out they done that yet? <laughs> like, yes, like, use these walking dead weapons to your advantage and yeah. just like hold on to them. And so, yeah, so that I, was pretty cool. I think that using wa- the Walking Dead as a weapon is very similar. It's like their nuclear weapon. Yeah. You know, it's the the big weapon. It's kind of questionable. Well, I mean, we like saw the a, damage it did at Alexandria. Yeah, I mean, I mean it was it, it tore works. down the wall. It works. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you have like a there's like a moral standpoint, like oh, that's a pretty inhumane way to kill somebody. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> all's fair in love and war, you know. What I'm Especially saying? when so, it's a group like Negan, where the most inhumane way to kill someone is just to bash their head in while all their friends watch. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm but just saying. I mean it. I mean, yeah, like, I'm ready for them to use it. Like, we're past this point. Like, we're still trying to, you know, save, you know, their people. And they should have done this a long time ago. But, yeah. And they also mentioned, like, yeah, well, it's just, like, they're only powerful because we keep giving them stuff. If they all, like, if every community, like... Let's just stop giving tribute. This is, like, the birth of a union. Like, this is how (laughs) unions are formed. Like, no, like, we're the ones... Doing the work. Yeah, we're the ones doing the work. We're going to protect ourselves. So, like, yeah, you're not getting any of this crap. And then that would be awesome. So, but hopefully, I hope something big, like game changing, happens. And like I remember seeing a premiere or the preview, um, some like demonic looking walker that had like this weird. Oh yeah, had the, it looked like something from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, like it looked like the mouth of Sauron from Lord of the Rings, yeah. where he had that big metal mm-hmm. head, and all you saw was his mouth. I'm really that was exactly what it like, reminded me of. The walkers, or the zombies, to like. Step, step up, up. yeah mm-hmm. like do something else like cool. or where people truly weaponize the zombies yeah. instead of just using hordes they literally like how negan has that field of zombies posted up to have them now capable of like s- resisting human attack yeah that's pretty intense like yeah we need that amped up so moment come on, walking dead get on it do that yeah that sounds awesome yeah. yeah but but we'll see so what we got like eight episodes left yeah well uh, I didn't like a lot of the direction that we had early on in the show, like, early on in the episode, but I loved all the epic shots. Like, we had these epic ensemble shots where we, yeah. we panned through the group. So that is a big ensemble now. Like, yeah, yeah. That is a Especially lot Especially with of all three of those communities coming together now. Well, There's so many I'm just more. talking about, like, the core characters. No, I know, but I'm saying, like, you've got them, and then you got Jesus now falling into it. You're going to have that one guy probably come into it from uh, the other group. From the uh, kingdom? From the kingdom. The kingdom. I mean, it's just like it's just going to keep growing, and obviously, people are going to get killed soon. I feel like they're going to kill several characters they, off this season. Oh, they have to. They've, they've made this cast yeah. so large; they're going to have to kill some yeah. of them off. Yeah, and setting up for war. Yeah, and they even mentioned how you know a lot of people are going to die, and not just the bad guys. Winter is coming. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's like the winter is coming for <laughs> Walking Dead, which would be crazy if you had most of the main—not like all of them, but most of the main characters—kind of wiped out. I, that might be a good refresh. As much as I hate to lose a lot of these characters, a new refresh would be keep some of the core people and some of the side people. Get rid of a lot of main people. So where it's just like... Who do we kill? Crushes you. Who do we want to kill? <sighs> Rosita is going to die. Rosita? She'll die. Okay, why? Because have you seen how like annoying she's, she's getting? She's being super... Moody? Bitchy for no reason. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, especially with... I think she's got a lot of reason. Yeah, but the way she's... A, the way she's like dishing it out is not reasonable. And again, I think that's the writing's fault. But yeah, yeah. but I Whatever. think Rosita's probably gonna go. 
Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Rosita went if uh, what's her name because this is the moment where we actually have it on. Oh uh, yeah, uh, this is the moment Sasha. I was talking about. Sasha and Rosita. Sasha and yeah. Rosita. I think if Rosita went, or I bet you if Sasha went, Rosita would have Rosita would have a redeeming moment and try to save her and get killed instead or get killed as well. Uh, because they have this distance they're building with them, I bet Rosita would break it to try to help her. And See, I don't go. want that, though. Like, don't give me something we can predict. Don't yeah. make it Right, but obvious, I mean, it's but that's just... Where, that's it's, pretty it's an emotional tug. Um, and then you've got this guy on the right. He'll probably die um, because he's becoming a really cool character. Yeah. Like, he's becoming really cool really quick. Yeah. And, uh, and then I bet you... Uh, let's see. Morgan will probably live because they need a pacifist. Yeah, uh, someone to oppose Rick. What do you think, the preacher guy? You think he'll live? Gabriel. Yeah. You Gabriel, can... Gabriel. 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 I he really wonder. I, I really wonder but if they're going to take out Norman Reedus this season. They're not. You think? No, because if if Daryl dies, he'll probably might, die. Like I'm trying to think of the guys who would die. Jesus is too new. He won't go. Maybe we kill Rick. I've been talking about this since like season two. They're, no, they won't. They won't kill him this season. They won't kill him next season. But maybe at the end of next season, we kill Rick. I mean, maybe. The I next, love Daryl. Daryl is Daryl is my one always favorite character. Like he's never let me down. Uh, but with that being said, if you took him out, it'd be an emotional pull. Mm -hmm. And I only think the reason he's really still alive is because of ratings. Yeah, I'm sad. so yeah, if they killed him, like they're already doing not yeah. so hot in the ratings. Well, they're, well, they're just on the great. decline because yeah. yeah. it's just like a longer decline. series. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so like they still have their number one show, their top show. Yeah, yeah. it's like saying like we're number one with ten million. Well, now we're number one with eight million. It's like technically your numbers are going down, but you are still. You might want to re-say all of that because you were scratching, moving your mic when you were oh, talking. I did this. Yeah, okay. your mic's moving around. Oh, that's fine. We'll just. <laughs> but yeah, and that's the thing is I th I think. Norman Reedus is hitting a really good character point right now with the Negan story. And I would love it if he went out killing Negan. I would love it. Not Rick. If Daryl got to. So the season after that, they could just run into more bad people and do the same thing. Well, no, over I, again. I like how you think Reed, how you, how you guys are thinking Negan dies. This year. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think he should die. Like, I think he Negan's needs... the best bad guy in the oh, show. Oh yeah, yeah. he's let's, better than the governor. Yeah, let's just let not, Negan not die. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because but don't do, do a just... governor moment where everyone but Negan dies and then he runs off and comes back. Right. Because that's happened already. So how do you sustain Half the this? Already happened already. Like we, this is this it's is... a pretty cyclic show. Yeah. Right. But that's what I'm saying is how do you get out of that and you do these certain things, especially because the show is good at not holding up to the comics. Right. Daryl, for instance, is the perfect example. Well, the, actually, the show that the plot follows the comics. Almost right, but a lot of the characters get introduced differently or, or yeah, the characters later. you might have minute changes. To the characters, this character plays this role instead of that character. Right, you know, they just kind of or they get introduced a lot later, or they get introduced a lot sooner, and they go out a lot. But the plot itself sooner. still follows the show. So your core characters, your Rick, your Michonne, your Carl, your Negan, right. those characters so how do you are going that, to though? maintain. You take, you take some of them out, and then now the fans of the comic book aren't as bored. And then the fans of the show are really like, what's going on? You know what I mean? Because it, it just opens up the Game of Thrones kind of scenario. Where one thing you love about Game of Thrones, you never know when your favorite character is going to die. And you yeah. always expect well, it they, to Well, they killed Rick at the beginning of Game of Thrones. They killed their Rick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, by killing Ned. <clears throat> start, you know? Well, and then in the Red Wedding, they killed the, the like, they, Daryl, they basically. Yeah they, yeah. yeah, they killed the Daryl or they yeah. killed the Carl, whichever you yeah. want to look at it. And it was just like, but that's the thing is they... They do it in a way to where you keep watching, and they do it in a way where you keep because uh, it's not you keep the same. investing in the new characters. Yeah. So, but yeah, well, I mean, I guess I'll keep watching. Obviously, I mean, I'm excited to see where this new group they ran into is going. That's for sure. Yes, and uh, it's the women, right? No, I, I, I thought I saw guys uh, in there, too. Yeah I, th yeah, I don't think it's the women. Like, that was my first thought, was it's the women from that one camp. Right. But, like, there were some, watching it again, there's adult men in there. Yeah. I think it's another group. Yeah. Okay. Which, you said it could be Ingrid's group, or is that... No, no, no. I think uh, that group is... Or is that supposed to be where the women, she came from, the women group? Yeah, it's the, in, not Enid, uh, the, the woman... That was with the doctor, whose name we can't remember. Oh. Um, she remember she had the last 
the last episode or last yeah where she went yeah, to the group of women, women. Yeah. yeah and, and then and got then away they got away and uh the one guy died and helping her escape the walkers right. the bridge and all that yeah. i don't think that's those women right okay well, we'll yeah see. i don't either we'll see you there all right so real quick we have to make a comment about Logan because it's coming out soon. The trailers have been insane. It looks so good. Yeah. Looks, it, looks, it looks like the one Wolverine movie that I'm going to absolutely love. Yeah. And then the best part is we did predict where it was going for... Well, you think. For the story. We've seen the claws. It's, a, it's definitely X-23. Oh, yeah, we know it's X-23, but <clears throat> like, we don't know yeah. but do you think the they, details of the plot. Yeah, but do yeah. you think they're doing this so they can start spinning her into Wolverine scenario movies? I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, if this really is... If this is his last film, right. I, I think it's going to be a while before we see another person take on the mantle of Wolverine. And what I really hope is that they don't do something where it's a finale finale and, like, all the characters die. Like, <clears throat> Xavier's, like, 90. You know, uh, Logan looks like he's going to die. Mm. And they've got this new character, and it's in this wasteland world. I mean, it would be really neat if they could do it where maybe those two die. And the next 23 stays alive. And then Bishop or somebody comes out of nowhere. Cable, because Cable's going to be in the new Deadpool thing. If uh, they come and take her and bring her back from that time to an earlier time, so then she can stay in these movies. I mean, you could do that. Connect time travel has been yeah, done yeah. several times now. So I love it. Yeah, I think that'd be great. Then that way it's not so weird that a younger character like her mm -hmm. is back with these older, who would be way older yeah. in her timeline. So when does it come out? I can't remember. We'll we'll put it on the screen or something. But yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, it I looks great. It's so bad. And then another thing tonight is Humans season two, which we've seen and you've not, and so that's something we're gonna try to start talking about too. So uh, we need to get you caught up because this is a really good show. Well, that I've been waiting for. Leftovers. It took forever yeah. oh. to come back. Oh, out. that's a good. Yeah, that's good. <clears throat> that's good. Yeah. You gotta watch leftovers while he catches on Finn humans. Yeah, and then we can talk. I got leftovers. a lot longer to catch up on though than he does. He's got a season, which is like twelve episodes. Leftovers. Leftovers is like 10, yeah, there's ten episodes. Ten episodes. Yeah, there's twenty episodes. But how many seasons? There's two. two. There's more than two seasons. No. Or their final one coming out. The final yeah, one's the season three. They only did three seasons. Yeah. yeah. Then how is it that good of a show? Because it's that good of a show. <laughs> you don't need like, to get It shows. has a beginning, middle, and end. They you don't got need shows that are like Walking Dead yeah. that are seven seasons long. They just keep redoing the same story. They could have cut Walking Dead in half. The same story would have been awesome. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, leftovers. But yeah, no, you've got a season to catch up on the humans so we can start talking about that. Because it's I'm excited because it took way too long to rebring out this. See, I like humans, but I don't I don't care that much about it. It's not that great of a show, but it's a good show. You didn't really, yeah. Because with the way it ended last season, I was excited. I was really ready for like the next season, and it took like over a year for them to bring out the second. The season. shows are just slow, in my opinion. Like they're, well, they're more psychological. They're yeah. more like emotionally, like f trying to figure the yeah. psyche of a human out. But they stuff. don't. They're not making it. Like it's it's Walking Dead to me. Really? Mm -hmm. So you love it then? I like it. I enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's. Just, and just the pacing. human comic books are way better. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. anyway, all right. I guess that's it for us uh, today. I'm Colin. I'm Joey. I'm Mike. And this is Know You're Wrong, Big Kid Studios. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and uh, we'll try to get some more out soon.